How's it going, everyone? Today we're looking at the home of Rudy from The Cosby Show. Well, Keisha Knight Pullum is her real name, and she actually just got married last year, so Keisha Knight James is the appropriate way to address it. Well, this home we're looking at today, she lived in in Fayetteville, Georgia. Now, she did sell the home in 2016. She sold the home for $500,000. This is the home that she actually lives in now. It's located in Fayetteville, Georgia as well. And she paid $1 million for this home. Well, $1,075,000 for the five-bedroom, seven-bathroom, 5,600-square-foot home. Again, in Fayetteville, Georgia. Now, we're going to dive into the former one. If you would, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, join if you haven't, if you'd like to access to exclusive content. And I'll be right back with the tour of the first home. I'm Lamb, the real estate insider, and this home, again, former home of Keisha Knight Puller, has seven bedrooms, five bathrooms, 5,703 square feet of space. It's currently valued at around $726,000, and again, I, I share with you that she sold it for $500,000 in 2016. The amount that she purchased it for, let's see. She purchased it for five hundred and eight thousand in two thousand six. So she lived in it from two thousand six all the way up until two thousand sixteen. Was that ten years? And she sold it for a loss. No boy, no. A little bit more about the home. Let's take a look. I like it at face value. When I say that, I'm talking about the front of the home. I like the way it looks. Nice, decent, decent style home. Inside, I really like the living room area. I don't like the drapes. You know, I like I like for it to be a little more light in there. It seems a little dark. Maybe if there was a chandelier, perhaps that would brighten it up. Nice piano in there, old school, classic piano, classic look. I like the art on the wall. That's nice. I would presume, and venture to a spouse even, that this is the furniture that she had in the space. These are the listing photos from when she was selling the home. So this is Rudy's style, Keisha's style. Here we are. I love that staircase and the columns. I love the, the combination of black and white or black and beige rather. Nice, looks good. I love the big mirror, reminds me of a, a department store. High-end department stores have those huge mirrors like that. I gotta get one of those. She has a little feng shui with her seating style here the white the longer couch is okay i don't know about the smaller ones i don't know if those are comfortable they may be comfortable i don't know but this it definitely has a woman's touch to this woman's touch i can tell particularly with the color splashes of what red pink whatever that is got your magazines your marie claire and your vogue on the table i would assume let's see okay so i, I like this space she's using those chairs again I like this. Oh, no, this is just the other angle. Okay, this is the other angle here. Love that chandelier. Very nice. Love the double height ceilings. I see a dining room peeking in over there. I see the double doors on each side of the fireplace going out into a patio. And I like the fireplace. I don't, I don't, I don't not like this. Let's see the dining room. The dining room, it, I lost, it lost me right here. It doesn't match the style of the living space i don't like the brown she could have did something different with them with that i see how she's tying in the, the mirrors or whatever those are on the wall how it ties into the previous room the art that she had on the wall but it went all the way wrong with the brown seating and cabinet over on the wall and she looks to have her own little area she loves the big big mirrors i see Maybe this is her salon. Okay. All right. Not bad. Nice clean bathroom. Nothing special, but nice clean look. 
again, that's those, I see that same style on the tiles that she used on the wall. So she, she likes that. Okay. Now this is nice. I really like the theater. I like that it's dark. I like that it's black. I like that you have a huge, huge sofa that you can just kind of lay on. Um, you can put a whole family up there. I love it. I love it. I like the sconces. This is beautiful. Now this is kind of just a kickback room here. It looks like it's at the back of the house where you just kind of hang. Maybe this is where you're sitting to chilling, to relax. Love the coffered ceilings and the small chandelier. Okay, all right, okay. I'm getting Z Gallery vibes in this mug. Okay, it has its own bar. Okay, the bar is done quite nice. Pretty nice design on the back. I like the ceiling. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. Let's see. That's another shot of that room. Let's see, and this is the bat bedroom. I'm, is this the master? I can't tell. I hope not. But if it is, it's a little planner than I expected. But okay, let's keep going. Okay, now this is the master. This is this has to be the master. Okay, it has a fireplace, has the seating area over there. Love the ceiling, love the fixture up in the air. Not bad. And the master bathroom is a simple one. But it's what to be expected for the house from what I saw from it on the outside. I would expect a little more design just because of how she designed the living room. So this, oh, it, it'll do, right? Now this, these, now this, the closet. That's the selling point. Huge closet. Huge, huge closet. Lots of space for clothes. That's the selling point of the house for sure. Then she has a little gym here. And then let's go out back. It has a, a small pool. Got some areas to chill out, like the trees. Okay, I like the backyard too. I don't like that the folks next door can see over in the backyard, but I like the backyard. Okay, all right. What do you guys think? This is a moment where I provide my insider rating. This is where I rate the home on a scale from 1 to 10. 1 being awful, 10 being amazing. And I give... Keisha's former home. I give it a seven and a half. Not bad, not shabby, not too shabby. I actually like the exterior of this home better than I like the exterior of her new home. Let's look at that again. I'm getting old lady vibes on this one. It's not like an old lady's house. I don't like, I don't, maybe the inside is amazing, but I don't like the outside of it. Okay. But anyway, I want to hear from you. What do you rate this home on a scale from one to 10? Put your rating in the comments below, and I might shout you out in a future video. I think that's all. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one on the Real Estate Insider. Peace out. It's the end of the weekend. But I still wanna turn up Yeah, I still wanna turn up All I want is to go again